story tonight. The final presidential debate of 2020 ended less than 30 minutes ago. For an hour and a half, President Donald Trump and former Vice President Joe Biden talked about issues and attacked one another, but spent nearly the first half hour talking coronavirus response. Every single move that he said we should make, that's what we've done. He did virtually nothing, and then he gets out of the hospital and he talks about, we're, this is, don't worry, it's all going to be over soon. Come on. There's not another serious scientist in the world who thinks it's going to be over soon. We'll focus on coronavirus response in just a moment. But right now we interview University of Toledo Political Science Department Chair Dr. Sam Nelson joining us live tonight with debate analysis. Dr. Nelson, a lot more substance here tonight. We learned a lot more about the policies. Uh, do you think it was the threat of the mute button or do you think both of these candidates realize this is really their last chance to get in front of tens of millions of voters? Well, I think the threat of the mute button made it clear that you couldn't really get away with with interrupting and, and that that wasn't going to work. But also, uh, President Trump really didn't do well in that first debate. I mean, the polling afterwards showed him losing that debate. He had to change his approach if he wanted to do better tonight. So there were a bunch of topics, COVID, Iran, North Korea, the, the national security issue, Iran and Russia, health care, unemployment. Which one do you think, one or two, if you can name them, a really will hit home with some voters? So I think that, um, you know, we've talked a lot about uh, coronavirus in the past. So I think the health care uh, one is really one of the key issues. That's certainly the closing argument Democrats want to make. Uh, it's something that uh, polling shows is at the top of a lot of people's minds uh, about the about the campaign and about their vote choice. And both candidates said that they do support health care for pre-existing conditions there. Let's go back to COVID. It really seemed to be an argument with President Trump on the side of the economy and maybe uh, Joe Biden talking more about safety. Biden seems to indicate every time he talks that he wants a national mask mandate. He wants to give money to businesses and schools to safely operate, whereas the president says the Democrats would close or keep close the economy. What did you learn from this back and forth? It was about a third of the time of the debate. Yeah, well, it really continued the themes that I think both candidates have been um, uh, exploring over the last six months. I mean, the president was really saying what he's been saying all along, and he's saying things about uh, that things are getting better and so on. But, you know, we've set new records in Ohio, what, two, three days in a row and, and, and so on, and lots of other states have. So I don't know that that really holds up. I think Biden hit the same points that he's been hitting, which is that we need to do a better job, that he's going to listen to scientists and that he's going to try to adapt. Uh, he's certainly very eager to um, say he's not going to shut the economy down, but, uh, you know, he's got to kind of work around that uh, a couple of different ways because he doesn't know what the situation will be in January. What about business owners uh, specifically? How do you think they're going to react to both of these policies from the candidates on COVID and the economy and their businesses? So it might really depend on what kind of business you're in, um, you know, and, and obviously the things that involve a lot of people uh, in confined spaces, bars and restaurants, they're hurting uh, a lot, uh, whereas, uh, you know, uh, things like, um, you know, universities, uh, we're, we're able to, to function in a more hybrid format uh, in a lot of ways very effectively. So I think everybody's going to react to that differently depending on the circumstances of, of their particular industry. But, um, you know, nothing is going to go back to normal in the economy until COVID is solved. Dr. Sam Nelson from the University of Toledo, thanks so much for your analysis once again tonight. Thank you.